Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rachakodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. That is, I continue to feed the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai. Also, Shalom to the hopefully elect that is also plowing in his work. That's giving you due diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. Now, uh, topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled, The Plagues Are Sent. All right. In which if the Lord has it to where, uh, through the Spirit, um, where well, I changed the title of the video, I'm just going to move according to the Spirit. But this is uh, dealing with the uh, recent outbreak of uh, the coronavirus that is uh, not only has it spread amongst uh, the region of uh, China, but um, also now you're starting to see it spread throughout the earth, all right? And which, uh, you know, China is not the only uh, region that is uh, being affected by this virus, but now you have other, uh, other places on the planet earth that are also being affected, all right? And really, we all know this is uh, by design, man. You know, there's it's, it's no coincidence that now bright light this uh, was going to hit this planet Earth because, you know, you had other viruses that were uh, known, uh, you know, back in some years, you know, especially with the Ebola virus. You had the, uh, I believe it was H1N1. You had SARS, which is uh, also linked to the same virus which is um the SARS virus is indicative to this virus that you that um <clears throat> that's happening right now and you know this is only the tip of the iceberg man you know the, all these things that you uh, hear concerning these viruses you know all these things were uh, created really if you're in the spirit and, and, and if you know the scriptures really these things were uh created for vengeance, you know, you know, it's no, and, and really, man, if you go behind the origins of uh, the reason why this virus started in the first place, is because the laws weren't kept. All right, how do we know? Because uh, the, the 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 dietary law. All right, concerning um, you're supposed to eat certain foods. Uh. You know, roughly paraphrase, I'm not going to go into it, but in Leviticus where it tells you that you're supposed to eat uh, animals that parted the hoof and chewed the cud. And uh, you're not supposed to eat foods like uh, a swine, you know, a catfish or, uh, you know, anything that, that creepeth on the earth that does not, uh, that doesn't, that, that doesn't part the hoof or chew the cud. But you got these uh, heathens, and they are truly heathens, uh, where they are eating, you know, bats. And and not only bats, you know, you got other nations that eat snakes, they eat camels, they eat, uh, what else? You know, you got other, they, they eat eel, octopus, squid, you know, man, all these nations, man, they are straight up heathens, man. And this, you know, this is the reason why, uh, you know, viruses like this come about. All right. Why? Because those laws weren't kept. OK, but I'm going to go ahead and touch uh, quickly on this uh, article that I got. Uh, rise in numbers of cases outside China is very concerning, expert says. Now, uh, I'm going to grab a, a point that I want to pull up here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just going to read a little bit of this and I'm going to bring out some scriptures uh, that said the new coronavirus that was first discovered in China last month is showing early signs of spreading abroad with people who never visited China, right, during the outbreak falling ill in Germany, Japan, Taiwan, and Vietnam. So now, you know, you have Japan, Taiwan, and, and um, Vietnam, but you also got Germany that's lumped in there, all right? And Germany is a far off, okay? Uh, 
So I'm going to skip down to where it speaks about Germany, right? So a German official said on Tuesday that a 33-year-old man from Sternberg in Bavaria was apparently injected with the coronavirus at the January 21st training event with a Chinese colleague. The Chinese colleague flew home two days later. Uh, the German man was being treated. And you know, that's how it happens, man. All right. You know, you got somebody that contracts the coronavirus and then they go from one place to another. They travel with it to another uh, nation and then they spread that virus, man. That's how it starts. OK, that reminds me of the movie. Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it. I, not Contagion. It's something else uh, where they locked down the whole city of Atlanta. I think it's called Containment. All right. I think that's the name of the series that I watch uh, with. You had one person from the Middle East fly in, fly in with the virus and he spread that virus to other people in that same city. And the same thing is happening now, man. All right. That same uh, occurrence is happening now with uh, people around the world. OK. And that's all I wanted to grab in this article here. Um, but if you want to check it out, um, it's under the New York Times, uh, which they are doing some live updates on it. But I'm going to go ahead and jump to the precepts. Um, this is uh, Second Edges, the 15th chapter. It's at the 46th verse. It says, and, and thou Asia, that art partaker of the hope of Babylon, and art the glory of her person, woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. And who is Babylon? Babylon, the greatest America. Okay? And hast decked thy daughters and whoredom, that they, they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Thou hast has followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore, saith the Most High, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence. See? And pestilence is, a, is, is the, the main, the main uh, plague that you're seeing right now in that region. Okay? And uh, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. Okay? Now, I'm going to move on from there. I'm going to get uh, the book of Deuteronomy, 30th chapter and the 7th verse. And like I mentioned earlier, that uh, those laws weren't kept on the earth, right? Now, this is uh, pursuant to the nations, right? Because the curses that fell upon our people are falling upon them, all right? And this is uh, going to explain it, right? Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. It says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Now, what is the curse that fell upon our people that's fallen upon these people now? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 59. It says, Then the Lord, Yahweh, Bashemel Shah, will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sickness, and of long continuance. Right? Uh, uh, moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord Yahweh shall bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And that's right. So sicknesses that weren't even written in the book or in history are being brought upon this planet Earth right now. Why? Because once again, those laws weren't kept. And since the laws weren't kept, those the curses came upon our, our people. And as you see right now, now it's spreading or should I say the curses are now falling upon these different nations that fought against us. Okay. And that's all I want to bring out through the spirit. You can go ahead and look up that article if you would like. Um, I think I showed you the title of it. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up on, on this note. Um, again, hopefully this is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. To, to the next time, once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechakodash. The honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that ruled very well to this very day. Also, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect that's uh, laboring as well in this work. I'll give you due diligence to make your calling and election sure, in faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.